Hong Kong is taking a leading role in the development of licensing, an industry with huge growth potential in Asia. Reflecting that momentum, the Hong Kong International Licensing Show has in less than a decade become the largest fair of its kind in the region. Organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, the 2011 edition welcomes more than 500 licensing properties and exhibitors and industry experts from around the world. Among those at the show this year is Hussein Futini, President and CEO of the Copyright Licensing Agency based in Dubai. We represent a different segment of licensing from characters to uh, uh, entertainment to a sports brand, music brands, uh, fashion brand and uh, iconic or celebrity brands. So we're also across the brand in different uh, segments of licensing. We're based in Dubai and we cover the Middle East uh, region and basically the Arabic speaking countries which is around 24 countries. Uh, and that's all the Arabic speaking countries in the Middle East. Well, with your base in Dubai, can you tell us a little bit about the licensing market currently in the Middle East? There are a lot of challenges and a lot of opportunities. The opportunities, it is like it's an emerging market. Uh, the retail uh, landscape, it is growing by day and uh, it's just still the beginning. I mean, you only hear about Dubai, but there are many other cities that could follow uh, soon like Qatar started and uh, yes I mean Qatar at certain uh, to a certain extent and you've got also Abu Dhabi which is the other city in the U United Arab Emirates who's also looking forward to uh, get into this venture and that's why but they're doing it in a big way and of course a number of tourists, uh, tourists are increasing to Dubai many people would like to come and see uh, the landmark of Dubai and the tourists and shopping uh, and many people do, uh, do make Dubai as a stop for them as a transit and they stop by they shop so it's a, it's a, it's becoming a destination that's Dubai specifically um, the potential in licensing, yes, it is growing, although it has a very humble uh, beginning. Uh, and not many years ago, just like uh, 15 to 16 years ago, it's all started with Disney. And everything started with Disney, where the, where the, where the Lion King and Aladdin and the Ninja Turtle, of course, with the, at that time, and Power Rangers. And all, all Disney took the, the um, let's say, the, the lion chair at that time. And now you could see almost 95% of the retail market, it is branded and licensed. And people are gradually, uh, also it's going more retailers, they are getting an exclusive deal on, um, on products, on our licenses. We just uh, got a deal with, with a smiley for uh, a big chain of uh, local uh, homegrown brand, which is called The Landmark. We have a lifestyle uh, shops and they've signed an exclusive deal for apparel and fashion and accessories. What do you think about the way that brands are developing in Asia? If it's brand, definitely it's either uh, UK or American. Uh, it's dominantly the brand on, if it's on TV or it's a fashion. So I would say more than 95% of the brand would be Western. Uh, uh, however, having said that, there, there is a potential for the Japanese anime which has uh, been there, and when it's dubbed to Arabic, it has that success. Uh, and uh, believe it or not, they just start an anime in, in Arabic. You've been to the licensing show many times. Why do you keep coming back to Hong Kong? Well, we go to Vegas, we, go, we used to go to New York. Uh, I've done uh, Tokyo last time, uh, and uh, obviously Eastern Europe, because they've also changed from cities, and definitely London. But uh, to be honest, yes, because it is coincide with the toy fair, so that's good. And uh, I've, I've spent like half of my time since yesterday only at the licensing show. So yes, I've been seeing people who I know, my licensors, some of them are here, and I'm meeting some other agents where we exchange ideas and concepts and business models. And of course, uh, looking if there's something new. And we did find uh, a number of uh, properties that we could uh, start with it from the Middle East, uh, from uh, the TV show uh, into licensing program. So yes, it, even if it's uh, not as big as uh, in the UK, but still there is potential and we would like to see what's coming to the industry. We don't want to miss it.